night a salad you know because part of the this week I'm doing the lunchbox challenge with my clients and this salad is the broccoli and red pepper salad is fantastic and I made it last night at the demo and everybody loved it so I thought what a great way to share it with you it only takes five seconds and you'll see how nice it is and particularly for me I never ate raw broccoli before and I have to say it's delicious so I searched for the recipe in cookie Do. how do you do it I put broccoli salad this one came up so I'm gonna select it when I click on it the good thing of a cookie Do, it gives me the steps the ingredients and also the most important the nutritional value so for example for this one the proportion we're gonna have is 107 calories so for those of you that are back to school trying to get fit and trying to have a healthy diet this would be a really good idea so let me show you we'll start cooking by just click start cooking and today I have a surprise okay so stay until the end of the recipe and you will learn something from someone on the other side of the world so stay tuned First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the 300 grams of broccoli florets. So I have them here all chopped. I'm gonna put them in. In this case, I didn't weigh it. I'm only doing it for me, so I'm gonna go for 150. And one thing, okay, with the broccoli, you tend to have the stock. What do you do with it? Do you put it in the bin? What I would suggest, I tend to freeze it, cut it in small bits. I freeze it and I'm able then to put it into the freezer. When I'm making my own vegetable stock, I put it in or I do it as well I chop it very thin and very thin slices and if I'm making the Asian style stir fry it's a really nice uh, stir fry as well really thin and it's really tasty and very crunchy and chunky okay what else I have the um, florets from the broccoli I'm gonna put a red pepper full red pepper no need maybe to cut it in halves I did this last night and people loved it instead of chopping the pepper what I do is I push it in and that's it, my pepper is seeded, So I don't have to do anything else, look. Bring it in, and it comes all the way. So all I have to do is wash the pepper, cut it in half with your hands, no seeds in, all in. I go next, I'm gonna put an apple. So I have an apple here, I'm gonna cut it in quarters. Uh, so let me cut it in quarters. The good thing of the salad is it has a little bit of sweetness from the apple and you are also going to see we're going to be adding a bit of honey. So again, it's about being outside of your comfort zone, trying new things and trying new ingredients as well. So I'm going to go next. I need 30 grams of pine nuts or maybe if you don't like pine nuts, maybe sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds. The scales are on, so let me put the 30 grams. 29 30 there we go click next 25 grams of olive oil when you are using the oil in your thermomix one thing you're gonna notice is because of the density of the oil it needs a couple of seconds to register so I tend to go for 20 with a very steady hand and then I stop because it will take those couple of seconds to go all the way up yeah you see 23 I'm taking them up 25 otherwise what tends to happen instead of 25 you go all the way and maybe you go over 30 you don't want that so we are doing in this recipe both the dressing and also the uh, chopping of all the ingredients together so that's why the dressing will be really nice uh, distributed and really tasty now I need uh, 15 grams of balsamic vinegar so let me add the scales are on so I just go to 15 there I go perfect click next a little bit of honey a teaspoon so in the thermomix at the moment it's asking me for a teaspoon but I can also go here the three dots at the very top and it has the scale so I can preset the scales and I can use the scales to weigh anything that I want if I'm doing a different recipe maybe on the hob I can use my thermomix put a plate on top go tear and that would be a scale or inside the bowl as well so in this case I know a teaspoon is around five grams so let me put five grams of honey cool I cross out of that this recipe asks for mustard 
I'm not a fan of moisture, so I'm gonna skip that and I'll go next. A little bit of salt, so let me put my salt one. Okay, and here again is your own taste. And a little bit of pepper. So I have pepper as well. So as you can see, we're putting fruit, veg, and the dressing all together. So I click next. We're gonna put the lid on top, close it. Always ensure that this part is facing the front of the Thermomix. And as you can see here is five seconds a speed for five seconds. So let me do magic. my salad all chopped in just five seconds. I didn't have to do any chopping or anything. So the tip I want to give you today is something I learned a long time ago from my friend Jenny and is to do salad jars. What you can do is have five jars, okay, for a one for every day of the week and what you can do is build your own salad. You will always start with the dressing, then the hard pieces like the tomatoes or if you put in uh, maybe meat or fish, whatever, and at the very top you put the lettuce. In this case, it's only going to be for today because the dressing that we have put together, I would have had to keep it separate, otherwise you will notice the apple um, will get a little bit uh, soggy. So I'm just going to put my portion for today, but if you wanted, what you could do is have the three, have three or four or five different salads made on Sunday, keep them for the week, have them in the jar, locked into the fridge and that's your lunch ready for every day and you don't have to be worrying about what am I going to have for lunch tomorrow, what I'm going to eat, that way it's done. Have it for different members of the family mainly, saving money, maybe do it with friends if you know they live nearby and keeping in touch with them and minding with social distancing. Um, and then like in this case this salad doesn't have any proteins, uh, well it has proteins but if you wanted to add more protein you could have maybe boil eggs, you could add maybe, um, I don't know, maybe meat, I don't know, maybe you want chicken, turkey, maybe salmon, smoked salmon, or even um, have as well halloumi, halloumi cheese, whatever it is. So that's how I would have my salad for today. Keep it in the fridge for the next few days, you can have five days a week.